Dad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to do the Spencer Davis classic here with um, Stephen Maven and the Playboys, please welcome Mr. Phil Collins. <laughs> That's my leg. Boy, <laughs> what's wrong with your tambourine leg? leg yeah, you know, you get a bruise on me. Yeah, leg. but you had a metal one earlier, didn't you? I really did, and I got blisters from that. You see, oh, you can't win, can you? It's the, yeah, it's the danger, isn't it? Now, I wasn't being rude, earlier, but you have done an awful lot of TV this week, haven't you? I mean, uh, are you, you're not appearing on the Seoul Olympics tonight, but no. you're not. Uh, <laughs> no, it, it does seem that way, actually. It does seem that way, but. Uh, but it's something you believe in, so it's worth doing. Isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Now, how was you had the party, the premiere party for the movie last night? Yes, it was, was good that? fun. Yeah, I don't normally enjoy those things, you know. Like after gigs and stuff, we sometimes have parties, and I just sort of go straight home. It was at, where was it? It was the Natural History Museum, wasn't it? Yeah, amongst all the. Um... That's for your face. Oh, I guess. Okay. Amongst all the. Uh, well, well, we had people phoning, his car, We had complaints, have we? People phoning in saying <laughs> we're both sweating too much. Is that it? <laughs> I'm yeah, I, 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 yeah, I apologise, but but hey, Phil's only human too. Hey, man. Um, no, it was a good party, good party. I stayed till the end almost. But it's a, a kind of odd place. I mean, there's, I can't even think of a tenuous link between Buster Edwards and the Natural History Museum. No, I think it had been Genesis, you see, the old dinosaurs. <laughs> that would be understandable. Yeah. But, um, no, it was... <laughs> well, it was rather good, wasn't it? <laughs> um, no, it was, it was a good party, though. Good party. Now, uh, a few friends. I was reading the quote, Buster Edwards, who you play in the movie. Yeah. Buster, out of the movie. He said that uh, when he was told you were going to play it, he said, it can't be him, he's got no bleeding hair. Yeah. Or is that right? <laughs> he did say that, but I sorted him out. And, uh, <laughs> in fact, I did have a little go with the old thing around there, you know, the old... Uh, Rickettes gear. Yes, I know. So he's got a book out as well, it work, Grow Hair in 12 Weeks, which I don't know, <laughs> you might want. I don't know why I... Uh... <laughs> Thank you so but, much, Jonathan. <laughs> Uh, was that a Phil Collins done well? No, it wasn't. Now, while we're on the subject of, you know, you personally, not, you've got a scar there, which I've noticed. How did you yeah, do well, actually, you know, not many people ask me that. It's, um, <laughs> no, it's true. And uh, when I was about, I don't know, seven, eight, 
I was in the back of my dad's car, uh, going through Richmond Park, and he had an old Ford, Ford Pop, and um, with the old seats, you know, used to go just like that, no back doors or nothing. So a, sheep, a herd of sheep ran across the street, uh, ran across the road, and he put on his brakes, and I went straight over the front, and I oh, whack. Yeah. yeah. You don't see many of those cars around anymore, do you? No, no. That's probably why. That's isn't right. It? That's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Richmond Park's full of them, though. Now we've got a clip. We're going to have a show clip from your film as well. Yeah. Because we're generous kind of people. That's and the also kind of thing I like about it. Basically, this. why you want? Do you want to introduce the clip? Yeah. Okay. Well, well Buster and June's um, daughter Nikki has been sick after their Christmas dinner, and uh, they have to take her to hospital. Nothing to do with the cooking. It's just the cook me bit. And, and this is the hospital. This is the hospital. Come yeah. Up there. Enjoy it. We want to see the head honcho. Sit child here. Hey, are you listening? Oh, he's busy. Leave off, Look, stupido, this little girl is ill. Senor, all these people are also ill. You must wait. Wait? How can we wait? Feel her. She's wet through. She could be dead before you get to her. <coughs> listen to her. Just listen to her. You are not in England now. You must wait your turn. Buster, for God's sake. Give me the and get out of here. Just go away. Don't be stupid, Jim. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, it's a comedy then, Phil. Is that <laughs> <laughs> Pretty intense. There are funnier bits, it's just that's one of the other bits, you know. But it's not, you know, you, uh, you, you're good in it. You're a good actor in it. Well, I don't know yet. Uh, some of the reviews have been very, very good and some of them... What do they know, Phil? But what do they know? Do they know? Don't decide Go yourself. It, I thought it was good. Now, Phil, you, you're a drummer, and drummers are normally kind of the wild men in the rock bands. That's right. But you are known as one of the nicest men in pop. That's true. You ever get, you ever get sick of that? Yeah, I've, but I have often opened the soap packets and stuff at hotels and hotels. things. Have you ever done anything more? Have you ever got drunk and trashed a hotel room? Or? No. Phil, we want to <laughs> we help you change your image tonight. Yeah! Yeah, but it's in controlled studio situation, so don't right. panic. Phil, if you'd like to come over here with me... This sounds great. This is a, pr a pleasant surprise for you, isn't it, Phil? It is. It's a you see, surprise. what we've done is we've mocked up your average hotel window, you see? <laughs> and then, uh, do we have something to bring... Yeah, here we have your average hotel TV. And Phil, we want you here on public TV to throw this TV through the window. This is, this is <laughs> fantastic. Got the newly crowned <laughs> wild man of rock and roll... And for all you those looking out, yeah. I, know, I know you've got the fake window. I know you've got the old TV, but please don't do this at home, OK? <laughs> Unless, of course, your parents aren't in, and then you can do whatever you do want. Do what you want. Can't you? Do what you so like. So if you're ready, we're ready with the cameras there. Just straight forward. Do we have a Phil Collins sort of drum roll for this? Phil, <laughs> yeah, pretty good, actually. Wonderful. Ah, yeah. The wild man of rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, do we have that? You got that in slow motion, Peter? We don't have it in slow motion. We don't have it in slow motion. Phil, uh, that's a, I think that's all we've got time for at the moment because we have to check up Dr. <sighs> Martin's throat. But thank you again, Phil Collins. Thank you very much. No slow motion. I'll give you a slow motion copy of here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Feels good to get it out of your system. It does. It? it does. I've never done that.